I am Optimus Prime, and this is Prime, Prime, Prime Reviews. Welcome back to Prime Reviews. My apologies for being gone for such a long time. I seem to have downloaded a virus, and I've been feeling under the weather, as you humans say. So here we have the Waste of Plastic Transformers Overrun, which is a cop-out for not being able to use the original name. Oh well, no use crying over spilt energy, John. So here's the box. Nobody cares. Hey, look, it's Knight Rider. I didn't care much for Kit, although I did like that car character. And here he is again, because we're too cheap to print anything else on the box. Nothing on the back. So stupid. And here's how you open the box. In slow motion. Technical data. Strength, blah, blah, blah. Not as much as Optimus Prime, not as much as Optimus Prime, not as much as Optimus Prime. Yeah, he's not as much as Optimus Prime. Well, those cheap jokers didn't even put anything on the back. Oh, well. Beauty is fleeting, especially when I'm around. Blah, 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 look at me, I'm a Decepticon. Nobody cares. If you want to read it, buy it yourself. So here it is inside the box. As you can see, it was meant to come with another figure. Or else the, I like to call it the shadow figure. Look, a free styrofoam car. Awesome. That's what you humans call sarcasm. So I don't really see what all the hubbub is about. It's just a box with styrofoam in it and a car. I don't get it. It's it's just a car. I mean, come on. In car mode, it takes up space, as we can all see. It rolls pretty well, I guess. No license plate. Come on, at least give us a license plate. They charge us triple what the, this thing is worth, and no license plate? Really? It does have a nice uh, shiny key all there. Oh, well, I guess I can't complain too much. Other than the fact that it's a crappy Decepticon. Hey, look, I can see his legs through the window. Two words. Repainted Wheeljack. He's got some nice little duck feet there. If this were Optimus Prime figure, it'd be done by now. Oh, look, I revealed the shield. And you pull the legs down like so, and you keep pulling and pushing things till things start to happen. Oh, look, Oompa, loompa, dooba, dee, do. I guess where you want to put the arms, that's really up to you. But uh, I wouldn't pull these wingy things out. That's just me. It looks too much like the figure that it was repainted from. So oh, there you go. In fact, I wouldn't even use this thing. You never have one of those. That looks more like the original figure right there. That's just me. Rotate these things around. Oh, look, an arm broke. I guess this is one of those things you can just put it however you really want it. That's what she said. You can put the wings up higher if you wanted to. I think they look better behind the wheels. But uh, generally speaking, it goes something to this effect. So this is what all the hop up was about. This, see, I did a hub plug there. You saw, you saw the hub plug. I totally did a plug for the hub. So you can put these in here as, as weapons, I guess, if you wanted to. Not that a weapon will do a Decepticon any good. Seriously, what's he going to do? Destroy me with a wrench? Oh no, I'm afraid he's going to fix my plumbing. They can plug in there. Or you can pull this part out. And it fastens into these peggy things here. Like so. But I don't like that. It looks... It doesn't look like the character. I like it like this. And that's the way. Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh, I like it. So anyways, he's a little short for a stormtrooper. But, I don't know, I'll get over it. That's the way I think he looks good. And I really don't care what anybody else says. For articulation, his head rotates 360 degrees. It will move up and down slightly. 
His arm will rotate up and down as well as rotate 360 degrees as well as breaking off. Here we go again. If it pops off the ball joint, it will go back on. Except that I just ripped the leg off as well. The wings will move up and down, and you can flip these wing thingies out if you want to. I think they look stupid. I guess this connector is his weapon. It is removable. Oh, look, he does have a gun after all. So this will go into his hand to give him some kind of defense against me. Although it won't do any good. So there's his weapon. His armor rotated the bicep as well as double jointed elbow because of the transformation, I would assume. He also rotates at the wrist and bends. Not at all. Oh well. He rotates at the waist, surprisingly. Bends up and down at the upper thigh. Bends at the knee, rotates at the knee. And has an ankle pivot, if you want to call it that. For size comparison, he looks strangely familiar. In fact, he looks exactly the same, other than a few minor paint changes. The only thing different about this figure is the head sculpt. There you go. Take a good look. Nice head sculpt. And if you humans can afford this worthless piece of plastic, then you can afford to make us a better movie. So, just a, just a heads up. No more Michael Bay's. If I have to wear flames one more time, I swear I'll... Insert shameless ravage the ends of coming. Get off my channel!